This is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at 4. We're following updates on two separate breaking stories from last night. Our teams are on the ground and bringing you the new information from police in Madison and Albion. We'll begin tonight with Brayden Ross. She is in Albion with the latest after two people were found dead there early this morning. Brayden, what's the latest? Yeah, there are two people, like you said, dead here in Albion. A third dead in De down in Dubuque County, Iowa. That's after hours of violence that started last night and continued into early this morning here in Dane County. Now, officials say this all started again down in Dubuque County, Iowa, where a 32-year-old woman was found dead in her home around 7 p.m. last night. The two children that lived in the home with her, a 13-year-old girl and a 5-month-old baby, were nowhere to be found. Now, as deputies in Dubuque County were arriving on scene there, the violence was still unfolding now here up in Dane County. The incident uh, included uh, multiple scenes, including a police pursuit in regards to uh, two individuals firing rounds uh, at our deputies and other responding agencies. It included a handgun, a rifle, uh, as well as an armed home invasion and armed standoff, and again leading to the decease of two of our very own community members. Time this afternoon covering this very now, around 5.30 p.m., Dane County Sheriff's deputies responded to a residence in the town of Dunn, where a five-year-old, five-month-old baby was dropped off by two people. One of those people, 38-year-old Alexander Grunke, was later identified as a person of interest in that Iowa death. The other was the 13-year-old girl who lived at that home in Iowa. Now, the two fled from Dane County Sheriff's deputies in the town of Dunn, armed with a rifle and a handgun, and both of them shot at the deputies chasing them. The chase ended on Highway 51 here in Albion. The 13-year-old girl got out and ran into the woods when deputies caught up with her she was unresponsive and died on scene after life-saving measures were unsuccessful we don't know what the cause of her death was now grunky ran to a nearby home where he forced his way inside and into the basement the family who lived in that house was home at the time but made it out unharmed and after an hours long standoff deputies found grunky dead in the basement of a parent's suicide now we have plenty more details coming out in this situation including some of grunky's criminal history you can find all that information online right now at channel 3000.com for now report Reporting live in Albion, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Braden, thank you. Now to Madison, where we learned more today about that deadly shooting last night on the city's north side. Police say a woman has been arrested in connection with that incident. Our Catherine Merck was at the scene when police arrived last night, and she joins us now live with an update from police. Catherine? Susan and Charlotte, Madison Police provided an update on some more information after a homicide happened here at this apartment complex last night. Here's what we learned at a press briefing. At around 6.30 last night, police were called to the 1900 block of Northport Drive. That's on Madison's north side. A 31-year-old man had, had life-threatening injuries and was taken to the hospital where he later died. Today, police confirmed that Tamar Brianna Beasley was booked into the Dane County County jail this morning in connection with the shooting. Police said surveillance video showed an altercation between Beasley and the male victim who she had a domestic relationship with. That fight happened near a playground at the apartment complex before a shot was fired. And several parts of the video, they're out of frame, so um, seconds matter. So we don't know the, fully extent, the full extent, which is why our officers and our detectives, excuse me, will be working hard to kind of find the people who were there, uh, encourage them to give us a full and uh, accurate account of what they may have heard or what they may have seen. On Beasley is tentatively charged with first degree intentional homicide. The police chief told us there weren't any prior criminal calls between Beasley and the victim here in Madison, but there was a previous incident in Illinois and they're working to get more information about that from the Chicago Police Department. This is an active investigation and police are continuing to learn more each hour. So make sure to stick with us for more updates on all of our platforms. Reporting live on Madison's North Side, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. As both of these situations continue to develop, we are pushing the newest information directly to the palm of your hand. Just download our free Channel 3000 mobile app by searching WISC-TV wherever you get your apps.
A series of tornado sirens were heard all across Wisconsin today. It was part of a tornado drill to prepare Wisconsin for severe weather, but the second set of drills has been canceled. The first sirens went off at 1.45 this afternoon, and the second was set for 6.45 this evening. Wisconsin Emer Emergency Management is canceling the second drill over concerns of actual tornadoes. The likelihood of tornadoes is currently very low low, but the drills cannot be conducted if there is even a chance of a real tornado. And there may still be some municipalities where you will hear the sirens, but that is a decision that is made by local officials. And let's get an update on the weather now with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. So tonight there's a possibility of that, Alex? Is that why they canceled that second drill? Yes, yes, absolutely indeed. Very rare, very slim possibility that we could have a few funnel clouds this evening, a very, very slim chance of a weak tornado, a weak spin up. We have a low pressure system around. We call these cold air funnel clouds and most of the time they don't make it to the ground, but the National Weather Service does not want to confuse the public with a drill with a siren when there is the potential again for these cold air funnel clouds. Cross Dane County right now, folks, I don't see any showers out there yet, but that will change a little bit later. Those showers and maybe a clap or two of thunder just west of Hillsboro, down towards Bloom, down towards Richland Center. This is one area of consistent shower and thunderstorm activity and also down here on 151, down by Dodgeville and over towards Mineral Point. As we carry on through the rest of this evening, you can see our future track model trying to paint those showers and those isolated thunderstorms really coming right down I-39. The best chance if we do get one of these brief spin-ups would be during the early to mid evening hours. As we get towards that 9, 10 o'clock time frame, we lose any heat that we have out there and that helps to reduce the threat for the potential of that of that brief spin up possibility. Now we have been talking for days about thunderstorm potential for next week. Alert day conditions do look quite likely. This would include high winds, large hail, and potentially a few tornadoes as we go out towards Tuesday of next week. Coming up in Maine weather, we're gonna track the rest of these showers when they end. The gusty winds are expecting on your Friday, warm temperatures, and then alert day conditions for early next week. So a lot to track here, and I appreciate folks. I'm just getting out of post-surgery here. I'm getting my, my footing here step-by-step, step. so I appreciate folks uh, sticking with me here. Uh, I might be at the desk over uh, some when, it, when I do some of my weathers <laughs> as well, so appreciate that, folks. Don't overdo it, Yes, Alex. Take <laughs> your time. Please do not. <laughs> Well, the Wisconsin Supreme Court is due to get a shakeup roughly a year from now. Political reporter Will Keneally is here with the details. Will? Well, we just got word earlier today that incumbent Justice Ann Walsh Bradley will not run for re-election next April, leaving an open seat on the high court. Now, that's important because she's a member of the court's liberal majority. So whoever wins her seat next year will control the balance of the court and could do so for a while. Now, since liberals gained control of the bench last year, the state Supreme Court has thrown out legislative district maps and could decide the fate of abortion here in Wisconsin. Now, we've already seen one conservative jump in the ring, former Republican Attorney General Brad Schimmel. On the liberal side, though, we could see some local Dane County judges announce their run for a Supreme Court soon. Will, thank you. The new Madison Metropolitan School District superintendent introduced himself to staff and students today. Our Maddie Heimsch was there to learn about Dr. Joe Gothard and his plans for the district. Dr. Gothard is coming to the district from St. Paul Public Schools, but before that, he was a Madisonian himself. Gothard attended MMSD growing up and served as a teacher, coach, principal, and administrator in the district before his time in Minnesota. He says he's looking to bridge the gap between the schools and the community, both of which he knows well. And it's meaningful for me to return to Madison because Madison is a community that never gave up on me. School board president Nichelle Nichols told me his ties to the area made him a standout candidate, saying his love for Madison schools comes from a genuine lived experience. Gothard is to begin in the role no later than July 1st of this year, but district officials say he's already started to integrate himself into the schools. On News 3 Now at 5, we'll dive into Gothard's curriculum and budget plans, and most importantly, hear what students have to say about the district's new leader. Coming up after the break, remembering O.J. Simpson. The legacy of the famous and infamous football star when Live at 4 returns.
Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Every spring, the love of my life came here to paint. Cress helped us make sure she's never forgotten. We are Cress. We truly believe your memories matter. April showers bring May flowers. But do your tire gutters risk basement flooding? To the rescue, Fry Construction. Our absolute gutter system is custom fabricated on site for a perfect seamless fit. It's engineered to outperform. Looking for a break in the clouds? How about a sunny 24% discount on our absolute gutter system? To get this deal, visit FryConstruction.com today to schedule a full roof replacement. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. When your child has moderate to severe eczema, it's okay for them to show off. Show off their clearer skin and noticeably less itch with Dupixent. Because children six months and older with eczema have plenty of reasons to show off their skin. With Dupixent, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, they can stay ahead of their eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your child's skin from within. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your child's eczema specialist about Dupixent. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. O.J. Simpson, the legendary football player made infamous during a sensational murder trial, has died at the age of 76. In a statement on social media, his family said he succumbed to his battle with prostate cancer. Bradley Blackburn looks back at his life. O.J. Simpson's fame and infamy spanned across decades. As a star running back at USC, Simpson won the Heisman Trophy in 1968. Nicknamed the Juice, he played 11 seasons in the NFL, first with the Buffalo Bills, then the San Francisco 49ers. After retiring from the league, he launched a successful career as a sports broadcaster, movie star, and ad pitchman. But in June 1994, millions watched police chase Simpson in his white Bronco on L.A.'s freeways. His ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Ron Goldman were found stabbed to death. Simpson was accused of their murders. Alan Dershowitz was part of his star legal team. There was overwhelming evidence that might suggest that he did it, and then there was one piece of evidence that was tampered with. With cameras in the courtroom, Simpson's trial became a global television event. And of course, the infamous moment was the day he tried on the glove, right. and that the glove did not fit. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. A jury found him not guilty. I remember when the verdict came out and the street split. There were black citizens on one side and white on the other, and people were seeing justice through different eyes. But in a civil lawsuit from the victim's families, Simpson was found liable and ordered to pay millions in damages. More than a decade later, his book, If I Did It, garnered headlines. A 2007 Las Vegas robbery and kidnapping over sports memorabilia landed him in prison. He was paroled in 2017. 
His family says Simpson was surrounded by his children and grandchildren when he died. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News. An investigation into a popular packaged food is raising some alarms. Consumer Reports is asking school cafeterias to stop serving children Lunchables. The watchdog group tested a dozen versions of the lunch kits, which pre-packaged meat, cheese, and crackers. That's all in it. It found several contained high levels of lead and cadmium. The heavy metals can cause developmental issues, even in small doses. Last year, after changing some of the nutritional content, Lunchables were allowed into the National School Lunch Program for the first time, serving tens of millions of children. When you have these type of lead readings um, and lead being linked to, to learning development issues, uh, we have to rethink what we're making available uh, in the school food program. Kraft Heinz, which owns Lunchables, defended them, saying many of its products are a good source of protein and that a food's nutritional value should be based on a whole product rather than a single element. Well, let's get a look at your first warn forecast now. Here's Chief Meteorologist to Alex Harrington. Alex? Yeah, Charlotte, busy evening and a busy period ahead for the first Warren weather team. A little bit busier, somewhat unexpected with our isolated thunderstorms tonight. Just enough spin in the atmosphere that it's not going to be totally out of the question that we could see a brief funnel cloud or a very, very weak tornado. A breezy Friday ahead, folks, and a warm weekend ahead is all part of the three things that you need to know. Again, we were saying this earlier, the 645 second test tornado warning has been canceled by the National Weather Service for this very rare possibility of a funnel cloud or a brief tornado. It's not very likely, but it's something that we don't want to confuse folks about having a actual test drill with the potential for a brief spin up. We see some showers and thunderstorms across the area as we speak right now. And the reason why you can get these brief spin ups is because there's actually circulation with this area of low pressure. And we just happen to be on the western edge of that low pressure, but just enough of that rotation to potentially cause one or two of those thunderstorms to maybe potentially produce a funnel cloud. Nothing in Dane County, better shower and a couple of claps of thunder out towards Hillsboro, down towards Rockbridge and Richland Center, swinging down into Iowa County, Dodgeville. If you're on 151, uh, heading southwest down towards Platteville, you might be having some heavy rain going on right now. These showers and the isolated thunderstorm threat will carry on through at least around 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. The, if there is going to be any potential for severe weather, the better chances are going to very likely be in the early to mid evening hours. As we get into the later evening hours, we lose the heat of the day, and then that has a tendency to cause those showers to start to fizzle out, which we will see here on our future track model by the time we get to 6 o'clock on your Friday morning, starting off at 44. And then we trade in the shower chances with very windy conditions. Coming up later, I'll show you how strong some of those wind gusts may get. The shower and thunderstorm coverage is not widespread. Not everyone's going to see showers and thunderstorms tonight. If you do, you might get a quarter to a half inch or maybe if you're lucky sneak three quarters of an inch. Then we have that severe weather threat as we carry on out into next week. We were first to warn days ago about the potential for alert day conditions, which we're watching for Tuesday. Pretty rare to get the, the Storm Prediction Center to put a severe weather outlook many, many days out in advance. And again, the first one weather team, we've been keeping an eye on this for days. That is a possibility on Tuesday. All hazards are possible hail strong winds and the possibility of tornadoes with the best chance right now looking like to be Tuesday afternoon we'll keep everybody up to date as we carry forth here in the seven to ten day forecast a very nice warm weekend as we've been promising as well and then very unsettled as we go out into next week with those alert day conditions focusing on Tuesday Wisconsin celebrities are coming together to battle it out on the court this weekend. The fifth annual Easter Seal Celebrity Basketball Experience is this Saturday. Former Badgers are hitting the hardwood to support children and adults with disabilities. The idea behind the events is to really just have fun, um, bring awareness to Easter Seals, but to have, you know, make it fun for the whole family. Tip-off is at 3 p.m. and a pre-game workshop is also free for anyone who would like to attend from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. A waiver is required to participate in the workshops. For anyone hoping to watch the Brewers today, well, you have to reschedule. And you're going to have to. You have no choice. The series finale between the Brewers and the Cincinnati Reds has been postponed due to heavy rain in the city. This after last night's game was delayed by two hours and played in heavy rain throughout. But the crew 
Well, they still pulled it off with a 7-2 win. Tonight's game will be rescheduled as the first part of a doubleheader on August 30th. The Bucks will be back on our airwaves tomorrow night for the final time this season. They'll travel to Oklahoma City to take on the Thunder on Television Wisconsin. That's 3.2 over the air. This will be their final matchup against the Thunder this year. The Bucks currently lead the season series one to nothing with a 25 point statement win in late March. Tip off is set for 7 p.m. The Masters Golf Tournament is officially underway in Augusta, Georgia. Today's opening round at Augusta National Golf Club, well, that was delayed due to a storm system moving across the southeast. CBS Sports will broadcast the most renowned tournament in golf for the 69th year in a row. Jim Nance will lead the coverage for his 39th consecutive year. He previewed the excitement on CBS Mornings, which includes Tiger's return to the course. We all know the injuries and the test for him to go out and be able to walk this golf course, uh, there's a lot to that. Uh, but you never sell him short. So um, he played some practice rounds this week with my old buddy Fred Couples, and I heard he was striking the ball beautifully. So let's hope we see his best. CBS and Paramount Plus will air highlights of the Masters action today and tomorrow. Third round coverage begins Saturday at 2 p.m. local time, and the final round Sunday begins at 1 p.m. Coming up after the break here on Live at 4, the amazing race returns. How our Wisconsin pair completed their challenges and what lies ahead next on Live at 4. Outlets at the Dells in the center of water park heaven. With 60 of the world's biggest brands, we thrill the trendsetters and all who love a smoking hot discount. Save even more with 25% off and get a free Vera Bradley umbrella. Visit outlets at the Dells.com for coupon and details. Why won't you? I want fresh air. <laughs> You need the experts. The Home Renewal Experts at Feldco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-357-3263 or go to sonobello.com. We're cranking up the voltage, Wisconsin. Lottery retailers all around the state are lighting up with the latest limited time offer. It's all or nothing bonus days. During the month of April, all or nothing players have a one in seven chance to receive a $2 bonus ticket for the next midday drawing. This electric offer is only available for a limited time and only at Wisconsin Lottery retailers. Outlets at the Dells in the center of water park heaven. With 60 of the world's biggest brands, we thrill the trendsetters and all who love a smoking hot discount. Save even more with 25% off and get a free Vera Bradley umbrella. Visit outletsatthedells.com for coupon and details. 
Welcome back. It was another nail biter <laughs> last night on the amazing race for the two Madison firefighters. This is turning out to be such a great season. Mm -hmm. At one point, Sunny and Busy were in last place, but they managed to pull off another another big comeback. Sonny Pulver and Busy Smith appeared on their way out last week before bypassing two teams at the very end. Well, it happened again last night. They started with the last three teams, and after struggling with locating the first clue, teams had to find Marilyn Monroe's 1956 Ford Thunderbird inside a garage. They were quickly in last place. Next, they had no trouble driving a car with a stick shift, something that challenged many of the other teams. But they again had navigation issues, finding a skate park. But once they were there, they solved the challenge, passing teams again who were struggling. Next, they had to climb for clues. They chose that detour, where both team members had to climb a six-story cement wall to retrieve a ribbon in order to receive their next clue. This was no problem for our firefighters with their upper body strength. Sunny and Busy raced to the pit stop to meet up with Phil. You are team number seven. Congratulations. What is happening with you? Now we're going to really turn on our jets. Stay tuned for scene. So, now? <laughs> yes. So if you're not watching yet, you have to start watching now because I think it's going to get even better from here. Oh they are doing gosh. so great. This is really, the, the whole season has been really great. And the race oh, wow. now heads to Cordoba, Argentina for episode six. So that's next Wednesday night. See the benefit of learning how to drive a stick shift. Yeah, exactly. You need to exactly. know this because you just, it's a game someday. changer. Yep. You're someday. right. Someday. You're right. All right, we're still pulling for them. All right, so coming up next on Live at Four, we're going to continue our coverage of two separate homicides. We'll have reaction from neighbors in Albion coming up next when Live at Four continues. If your home is too hot in the summer or too cold in the winter, you probably have leaky wood or vinyl windows. Next Door and Window has the products and expertise to solve those problems. Our Ultrex fiberglass windows are eight times stronger than vinyl, and they're built for extreme weather. They stay snug and tight, so your home is more energy efficient. The strength of fiberglass frames means your windows will open and close effortlessly. Get 50% off installation on windows and doors and 24 months interest-free financing. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. Watch this. It's all 100% real. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. Nothing has been doctored or tampered with. The very real problem will disappear before your eyes and hers with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes. And the effects will last for hours and hours. Over 1 million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags. It works on sagging jowls, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. In just minutes, you can restore and beautify your face, even look years younger. And the look will last all day or all evening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I'm just in love with the mirror right now. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Prove It Plexiderm trial. You'll see why our customers describe Plexiderm with three words. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. Operators are standing by. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. A roof replacement can cost you $15,000, $20,000, or even more. But 9 out of 10 roofs don't need replaced. They can be rejuvenated with RoofMax for just a fraction of the cost. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington. I'm an original shark from the hit television show, Shark Tank. When it comes to RoofMax, I'm all in. When I saw that RoofMax could extend the life of your roof by years, I decided to invest in the company. Don't replace, rejuvenate with RoofMax. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. 
Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Welcome back to Live at 4. Look at this, people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the rooftop of Monona Terrace, taking in the view. That's one of the prettiest views in Madison. Very serene. It is. Very serene. And the clouds, they, they're like dancing around with the sun today. Hold on to your hats are the weather words. Here's Alex with what we can expect. Windy weather on the way, huh? Yes, indeed. Yeah, as you looked out there, they're not even getting the rain showers and scattered thunderstorms that are out there across portions of the area. And then by the time we sh uh, trade out those showers, as we go into your Friday morning, we got these wind gusts that are going to be approaching 30 to 35 miles per hour. It's going to be a breezy, windy day over all of southern Wisconsin. I want to make another note here, folks, that the tornado drill for 6.45 p.m. That has been canceled. Our National Weather Service friends and we also in the First Warren Weather Team are tracking a couple of thunderstorms that could produce the very, very, very slim threat for a funnel cloud. And the reason why is we have a circulation moving through southern Wisconsin, this area of low pressure, and the circulation can sometimes embed themselves in some of these showers and thunderstorms, producing what we call cold air funnel clouds that usually don't make it to the ground, but they can still be spooky nonetheless. Nothing spooky here in Dane County right now. It's all high and dry, but we do have some scattered showers and a couple claps of thunder stretching over portions of southwestern Wisconsin out towards Richland Center and down just west of Dodgeville over by Cobb and we'll continue to see these scattered showers and thunderstorms through the mid evening hours and then with the heat of the day going down as we head towards our 10 o'clock show we should see these showers and thunderstorms wane. Then we trade the shower and thunderstorm activity that we have tonight which again not expecting any widespread severe weather at all tonight but we could be looking at widespread severe weather on Tuesday coming up in my next main weather we're going to track that weather system and what hazards we could be looking at on your Tuesday afternoon. We are following updates from two separate breaking stories last night. Our teams are on the ground bringing you new information from police in Madison and Albion. Braden Ross is in Albion now with the latest after two people were found dead there early this morning. Braden, what can you tell us right now? Yeah, Charlotte and Susan, this is about as close as we can get to the home where one of those people was found dead, another was found dead in the woods nearby here. And then there was actually a third death as well in this situation in Dubuque County, Iowa. Now that's where police say this all started down when a 32 year old woman was found murdered in her home down there in Dubuque, Iowa. Now the two children she lived with were nowhere to be found. That was around 7 p.m. Meanwhile, the violence was still unfolding here in Dane County. I spoke to one neighbor about what she saw. You just knew it was bad because there were so many. I've never seen so many cop cars at a scene and they all had their lights on and they were lined up against or lined or down the road and they were really focusing on the, the wooded section of that. So you just get this bad feeling like, oh gosh. Now what she saw there was Dane County deputies responding here in Albion after the person of interest in that Iowa murder. 38-year-old Alexander Grunke led them on a chase that ended here on Highway 51. A 13-year-old girl, one of the children from that Iowa home, was in the car with Grunke during that chase. Both she and Grunke shot at deputies that were chasing them. When the car eventually stopped, the 13-year-old girl ran into the woods where she died of unknown causes. Grunke broke into a nearby home where he barricaded himself in the basement and apparently killed himself. Now there are a ton more details in this case that are coming out that we're learning today and continuing to learn, including some really disturbing details about Grunke's criminal past. You can find those online right now at channel3000.com and we'll keep you updated as we learn more. For now reporting live in Albion, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Braden, thank you. And now to Madison, where we learned more today about that deadly shooting last night on the city's north side. Police say a woman has been arrested in connection with that incident. Catherine Merck was at the scene where police arrived last night, and she joins us live with an update from police. Catherine? This was the first homicide of the year here in Madison. I'm at the apartment complex where it took place last night. And as police continue to piece together what happened, we got an update from them at a press briefing earlier today. Here's what we know this afternoon. At around 6.30 last night, Madison police were called to this apartment complex. This is on the 1900 block of Northport Drive. The 31-year-old had life 
life-threatening injuries and was taken to the hospital where that male later died. Today, police confirmed that Tamar Brianna Beasley was booked into the Dane County Jail this morning in connection with the shooting. Police said surveillance video showed a fight between Beasley and the male victim who she had shared a domestic partnership with. That fight happened near a playground at the apartment complex before a shot was fired. The firearm involved in last night's homicide has not been recovered. We know that Beasley is a concealed carry permit holder. As you heard there, police are still trying to piece together some elements of what exactly transpired last night. Beasley is tentatively charged with first degree intentional homicide. The police chief told us there weren't any prior criminal calls between Beasley and the victim in Madison, but there was a previous incident in Illinois and the Madison Police Department is currently working with the Chicago Police Department to try to get more information about that case. Today at the briefing, police did not provide any more details about the number of times that mail was shot in this case as they wait for autopsy results. And this is an active investigation. Reporting live on Madison's north side, I'm Katherine Merck, News 3 Now. As both of these situations continue to develop, we are pushing the newest information directly to the palm of your hand. Just download our free Channel 3000 mobile app by searching WISC TV wherever, wherever you get your apps. The stock market took a small rise today. The Dow Jones fell two points, while the NASDAQ is up 271 points and the S&P 500 is up 38. Track and field athletes who win gold at this year's Summer Olympics in Paris will take home more than just a medal. Track and field will become the first sport to pay prize money at the Olympics, with World Athletics awarding $50,000 to each gold medalist. It's part of a $2.4 million pool covering 48 events. While critics say that athletes shouldn't be allowed to cash in on the games, world high jump champion Yaroslava Mohuchik from Ukraine says the money helps support Olympic dreams. It gives you more opportunity to continue training and to find some place where you can train, so it's really nice. Since the modern Olympics began in Athens in 1896, athletes have never received cash prizes from the International Olympic Committee. This opens a new era of accolades for the world's greatest athletes. Payments, by the way, for silver and bronze medalists in track and field are planned to start four years from now at the 2028 Olympics in Los Angeles. Coming up after the break, closing a loophole is creating division on Capitol Hill. The, safe, the safety measures that have some Republicans up in arms, that's coming up next on Live at Four. Backyard living season is here. Coolview has great solutions to beat the backyard blues and save 15 to 25%. Cover your deck with a screen porch, an enclosed porch, or sunroom. If you have a screen porch, let us turn it into an enclosed porch. Shade your patio with a pergola or awning. All on sale now. Let Coolview show you how to tame your backyard blues. Call now for a quote before the sun sets on savings. Get a new view from Coolview. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. If you have heart failure, entrust your heart to Entresto. Entresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Alaskirin or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. Novartis may help you save on your prescription. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. 
Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotional results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to Sonobello.com. Continuing coverage, we have new information from investigators on the deadly pursuit and standoff in the town of Albion. Get the latest details on the individuals involved, including a 13-year-old girl. Showers and thunderstorms will end later tonight, and then the winds will really increase on your Friday and expect a warm weekend ahead. We're first to alert you on the possibility of alert day severe thunderstorms for next week. I have the details at 5. And ahead at 6, the latest on the unfolding homicide investigation in Madison. Catherine Merck walks us through what police believe led to the murder. That's tonight at 6. Welcome back. The White House plans to close the so-called gun show loophole is sparking Republican backlash on Capitol Hill. The new rules will require background screenings before anyone can buy a gun online or in person at a gun show. Natalie Brand reports from Washington. In what the Justice Department calls a historic step, it aims to close the gun show loophole by expanding background checks for those who buy firearms at gun shows or online. Under this regulation, it will not matter if guns are sold on the internet, at a gun show, or at a brick and mortar store. The new action stems from the bipartisan Safer Communities Act Congress passed after 2022's deadly mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. But lead Republicans on the legislation say the new rules go too far. We were bipartisan. They're bipartisan hacks, and this it will be used as an example of why they don't trust an administration to do it in the future. It'll take 20 years to recover from this crap. Nearly 80,000 licensed gun dealers are already required to run background checks, but this change means an estimated 23,000 currently unlicensed sellers will have to do the same. It applies to larger sellers that advertise process credit cards and earn profits from gun show and online sales. There's a reason that they're buying from sellers who are offering these guns for sale, in many cases cash only, no questions asked. Chris Brown, president of Brady United Against Gun Violence, calls this the biggest expansion of background checks since the 1993 Brady Bill. It means lives saved. That's the bottom line. The new regulations are expected to take effect in about a month. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. Republican Senators Tom Tillis and John Cornyn say they plan to introduce a joint resolution to overturn the new regulations. Coming up next on Live at Four, taxes are just about due. Find out how many people in America that get a refund. Uh, find out how many get a refund. Yes. <laughs> That's when Live at Four continues. It's replacement window season. Do you have ugly, hard to open, drafty windows? Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows because when you buy two, you get two free. Buy two Champion windows, get, get two, two free. free? I guess that means if you buy four, you get, you get four, four free. free. Buy six, get, get six, six free. free. Buy 10, get, get 10, 10 free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. Great job, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Do you have both Medicare and Medicaid? If so, you may qualify for a dual eligible special needs plan from Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield with benefits and coverage for dental services or routine eye exams. Call now to explore plan options available in your zip code. Learn about the additional care, resources, and support you could have with an Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual special needs plan. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual eligible special needs plans offer more benefits than you have access to with original Medicare alone. Additional benefits could help you save out-of-pocket costs. These benefits could include a healthy grocery allowance each month, transportation to plan approved medical appointments, or an annual allowance to spend on eyewear. Most of the Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual special needs plans have $0 monthly premiums, $0 copays, or $0 deductibles that can also help you save on out-of-pocket costs. If you have both Medicare and Medicaid, don't miss your chance to enroll in a dual special needs plan. 
Call today to see what plans with additional benefits may be available in your zip code. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual special needs plans offer more than original Medicare, like annual allowances towards dental, vision, or hearing coverage. These plans offer even more benefits that may provide you with additional care and support. With a 24-7 nurse line, you could have access to a registered nurse to help answer your questions whenever you need. If you're in immediate need of a caregiver or emergency services, these Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield plans provide a personal emergency response system. Contact a caregiver or emergency services at the touch of a button. If you have both Medicare and Medicaid, don't miss your chance to enroll in a plan with more benefits than you may have with original Medicare alone. Call today to speak with a licensed agent and explore 2024 dual eligible special needs plans. The call is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call 800-357-1385. 800-357-1385. That's 800-357-1385. Call now. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Oh, take a look at that. I did not expect to see this side of Denver. I thought for sure we were gonna see like a ton of mountains. <laughs> In the like background, that, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, Denver, Colorado, 61 degrees and fairly clear skies over there. Well, the deadline to file your taxes is quickly approaching for most Americans. Taxpayers have until this Monday, April 15th, to submit their returns unless you request an extension. If you live in Maine or Massachusetts where you have until the 17th, the IRS says tens of thousands of taxpayers have already filed for free using their new direct file tool currently available in 12 states. Most people who qualify for refunds will see them within 21 days. Two out of every three taxpayers that files with us is owed a refund. Uh, and people want their refunds quickly as they should. Um, and we want to get people's money in their pocket. Our mission at the IRS is not necessarily to make it fun, but to make it as seamless and as easy as possible and to give taxpayers options and to serve them uh, wherever they are and, and what they need. There is no fun in the IRS. <laughs> Come on. If you need to file an extension, you can go to irs.gov and fill out the appropriate form there. If you do owe the IRS but cannot pay by the 15th, the IRS says you can set up an installment plan on its website. Well, violent storms slammed the southeast, including tornadoes. Slidell, Louisiana, just northeast of New Orleans and parts of Mississippi are also dealing with devastation today, and officials confirm one death there. In all, at least 10 tornadoes swept across the south from Texas to Alabama, and the system is heading up the eastern seaboard today. Tom Hansen is in Slidell with the latest. Wow! Big, big tornado! Forecasters say the twister that touched down in Slidell Wednesday was wow. at least an EF1, oh. packing winds up to 110 miles an hour. Severe damage right across the road from there. The storm downed trees and power lines, shearing the roofs off of some buildings and ripping straight through others. 50 people had to be evacuated from one apartment building. Scenes of damage like this one are what we're seeing all over this coastal community. Trees uprooted, cars tossed about, and even one landing on its side. Just south in New Orleans, flash flooding inundated roads and left some vehicles stranded. And in Alabama, waves crashed onto the Mobile Causeway, shutting down a major stretch of the road. Parts of Texas were also submerged and hit by tornadoes. An EF-1 brought severe damage to the Katy area and an EF-2 touched down in Port Arthur. Back in Slidell, we met Alicia Turner. I just kept thinking that this roof is going to come tumbling down because you could hear it. You could feel the pressure. You could hear the wind. You could hear the glass shattering. She told us she and her family sheltered in their hallway as the tornado slammed their house. All the windows were blown out. The door was broken. I go outside. We have beautiful oak trees that are completely uprooted. It was heartbreaking. Tom Hanson, CBS News.
And here's Alex with more on those storms. Yeah, Charlotte, it's unbelievable the number of storm reports that we have out there from wind to hail to tornadoes that we were just showing in that package. It's a very, very active period for much of the United States, including us as well. Actually, it's this weather system that is prompting our statewide tornado drill number two here for 645 to be canceled, and that's because of a very low threat for the possibility of funnel clouds, maybe a brief spin up. It's not very likely, but the National Weather Service does not want to cause any confusion across the state of Wisconsin. It's that weather system that impacted the south that's bringing showers and a couple isolated thunderstorms that are rotating through southern Wisconsin with some of the heavier showers over portions of Lone Rock over towards Platteville and just west of Dodgeville. Our six hour future track rider shows some of those scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms moving right down I 39 right through Madison through about 10 o'clock and then they should start to dwindle as we lose the heat of the day. Overall amounts not expected to be very appreciable. If you happen to sneak one or two of those showers that's persistent, you might get upwards of a half inch to three quarters of an inch, but there'll be many areas of southern Wisconsin that will be dry. Most of southern Wisconsin will not be dry next Tuesday. We've been tracking active weather for days here in the first warm weather team mentioned that alert day conditions could be a possibility next week. We're going alert day for next Tuesday for the potential for damaging winds, hail and even some tornadoes. It's not likely folks for the storm prediction center to issue a severe weather risk five six days in advance and again the first one weather team we were a couple days in advance notifying everybody of this potential already and this is for Tuesday this is what this could look like on Tuesday widespread showers and thunderstorms all day on your Tuesday with the better chances for severe weather Tuesday afternoon going into Tuesday evening. Here's one ingredient that I'm watching here that I will put out there on the record right now that may prohibit the severe weather. And that's if we keep having persistent shower and thunderstorm activity all day on Tuesday, we cut down on the ability for us to warm up enough for widespread severe weather. So let's hope that that's the case, that we end up having more shower and thunderstorm activity holding those temperatures down some. We'll be keeping an eye on that, but before the shower and thunderstorm activity on your Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Just look at this weekend. Temperatures in the upper 60s to the low to mid 70s. I hope you have outdoor plans. I have plans to get to the farm and I'm looking forward to sitting outside on Grandma Harrington's deck. We'll be, we'll be right back, folks. What can our foam do for your home? Incredible comfort, no matter what the weather. Incredible savings, because your AC is going to run so much less. It even reduces outside noise and allergens. <laughs> No matter what kind of cheap insulation you already have, our foam will go right over it. Incredible. And spring is the time for incredible deals. So we're matching the $1,200 tax credit with a $1,200 discount. USA Insulation. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Hansen's knows that your home is a place of comfort and protection. That's why our durable, energy-efficient, and weather-resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are guaranteed. With over 30 years' experience and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert. Get 50% off installation or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Continuing coverage, we have new information from investigators on the deadly pursuit and standoff in the town of Albion. Get the latest details on the individuals involved, including a 13-year-old girl. Plus, neighbors tell us what they saw near the scene. It's coming up next in 5. How old are you? 99 plus. And he spent a lifetime doing something good. I'll tag along with this amazing local veteran as he reveals priceless life lessons and what we can all do to make his greatest wish come true. Tonight at 10. 
take a look at this. A subway station getting an unexpected visitor <laughs> intent on horsing around. Well, this race horse turned the commuter <laughs> train into a real pony express in Australia. Commuters on the new South Wales train had to hold their horses on any travel plans. Authorities say with transport for NSW, which shared this video, said the unexpected visitor did engage in some horseplay, but it was following safety precautions by staying behind the yellow line. <laughs> Eventually, the horse was led topside where it was loaded onto a transport and returned to its owner, reportedly in stable condition. <laughs> we'll be right back. Spring is sprung, and savings are in full bloom. Visit Menards Garden Center for everything you need to get your garden growing. Choose from hundreds of beautiful, colorful flowers, lush trees and shrubs, and everything in between. Menards Garden Center is back in bloom. Stop in today to get your garden on. Check out these fresh deals happening now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Hello, I'm Tommy Van Ness from the Tommy Van Ness Realty Group. For over a decade, thousands of people have turned to Tommy Van Ness Realty to buy or sell their home. Because we are more than your realtor, we're your partner. If you list with us and take advantage of our extensive marketing, everyone will know your home is for sale. The Tommy Van Ness Realty team is working hard for you. Call Tommy Van Ness today at 608-395-7375. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Van Ness. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. Welcome to Badgerscape Design and Landscape. We offer a full range of landscaping services from design to maintenance. Our professional team is dedicated to meeting all your landscaping needs. Call us at 608 295 1446 or visit Badgerscape Design and Landscape.com. Service and savings. It's Woodman's. Hi, we're the Woodman's. Woodman's. I'm Clint. I'm Phil saving you big time money on frozen food. 24 ounce TJ Farms shredded hash browns or 12 ounce frozen blueberries, $169 each or two for $3. I caramba hot hot prices on TJ Farms products. Hash browns or blueberries, both $169 or two for three. Enjoy TJ Farms products and save money. Better, better products, better prices, better, better service, service because we're employee owned. Solid core composite frame, triple pane windows. Solid core composite frame, triple pane windows. Solid core composite frame, triple pane windows. From Scott the Window Guy at AHT Wisconsin Window. I'm Scott the Window Guy from AHT Wisconsin Windows. Our solid core composite frame triple pane window is the most energy efficient window made for Wisconsin no matter what the season. Buy seven windows by the end of the month and get the eighth free at scottthewindowguy.com. That wraps up Live at 4 today. Charlotte's in the newsroom with what to expect in our coverage moving forward. Charlotte? Susan, tomorrow on Live at 4, we are heading to the Capitol Square to bring you a look ahead to the weekend and what you can expect from the Dane County Farmers Market this year. And coming up next at 5, we're going to...